Los Angeles Rams haven't invested much at the edge rush position in the NFL draft. Just two picks in the top 100 dedicated to the position in the Sean McVay era. One of those picks was just last season, with the 77th overall pick, Byron Young. He finished the year with 30 pressures and 8 sacks, but the Rams' pass rush on the whole was anemic. They finished with the 25th ranked pass rush percentage, and it hasn't gotten any better so far this offseason. Specifically, they lost 31 of 131 pressures in Aaron Donald. Donald's pressure number doesn't accurately reflect his effect on the Rams' pass rush. He was the tide that lifted all boats. Finding a player that can instantly inject the team with QB pressures is imperative for the Rams' draft. Let's take a look at each round and what edge players may be available for the Rams to select. In round one, Latu Latu, UCLA. Latu has an exceptional level of maturity in his game. His approach to pass rushing is strategic and instinctual and employs refined hand maneuvers and elusive angles. He demonstrates a keen ability to anticipate plays. Latu is propelled by an unwavering drive that fuels his effectiveness in both run defense and pass rush. His skill set and productivity will translate to the NFL. Concerns over his health and durability died down after the combine. As a 3-4 outside linebacker who can drop into coverage, he is a good fit for how the Rams have lined up on defense. Latu brings a craftier approach to pass rushing compared to Young, making him an excellent complement. Round 2, Braylon Trice, Washington. The Rams pick at 52 in the second round, and there are a few guys in this range that have high upsides, but bad low sides. Since the Rams can't afford to take chances, Braylon Trice is the right option here. At 6'3", 280 with short arms, Trice is a departure from the body type the Rams usually target, but old assumptions are out the window without Aaron Donald on the line. Trice's proof is in the pressures. He finished number one in the FBS in total pressures in both 22 with 70 and 2023 with 78. He holds up in coverage and is a quality run defender as well. Round three, Austin Booker out of Kansas. This is where the Rams take a swing for the fences. Austin Booker is pure potential. He's still a work in progress, having logged just 505 defensive snaps. Despite that, he had 39 pressures and 9 sacks last season. He'll need to get stronger and refine his rush plan. However, his tall, long frame combined with his quick reaction times show promising flashes. He will get plenty of experience with the Rams and offers more speed than Michael Hoyt. Currently, the Rams do not have a fourth round pick. So let's move on to round five. Nelson Caesar out of Houston. Caesar, a two-year starter and 2023 team captain, possesses average size but above average power. His straight line speed and instincts may not cut it at the professional level. Solid production as a two-year starter with 10 sacks in his final season at Houston. Round six. The Rams stay local and get Solomon Bird out of USC. Bird is the definition of solid. Highs aren't stellar, but the lows won't kill you. He may never become a game wrecker, but he will add much needed depth. He was one of the few bright spots on a terrible USC defense last year with six sacks. Round seven, Khalid Duke out of Kansas State. Duke is a tactician as a pass rusher out of necessity. He will need to add weight and strength to compete, but he brings a tool chest of techniques with him. So there you have it. An option in each round for the Rams to add at the edge position. What do you think? Let us know if there's a guy you missed. Hit us up on LAFBnetwork.com, at LAFB on Twitter, or comment below on the Rams LAFB YouTube page.